Getting back to nearby stars, here's Wolf 359. It is another dim red star. In fact, it's one of the least luminous stars known. Star Trek fans might recognize Wolf 359 as the scene of a great battle between the Federation and the Borg. Lalande 21185 is another dim red star. Recent analysis indicates that it may also be accompanied by at least two orbiting planets. One was confirmed in 2017. The search for planets around other stars, called exoplanets, is a major focus these days, and research is ongoing. This Hubble image shows a white Sirius A, the brightest star in our nighttime sky. Along with its faint, white, tiny stellar companion, Sirius B. The two stars revolve around each other every 50 years. Here we have our first parallax star, 61 Cygni again. Modern measurements place the star at 11.36 light years away. So Bessel's calculation of 10.4 light years was pretty close. 61 Cygni has another claim to fame in that it was first noted to have high proper motion as early as 1792, when it got the nickname Flying Star. To add further to this uniqueness, in 1830, 61 Cygni was determined to be a binary star system with two orange stars. Altair is a bright white star. A recent study revealed that Altair is not spherical, but is flattened at the poles due to a high rate of rotation. Vega is a bright white star and one of the most luminous stars in the Sun's neighborhood. It has been extensively studied. It was the first star to be photographed by astronomers in 1850. It was the North Pole star around 12,000 BC and will be so again around 13,700 AD. This image of Fomalhaut, surrounded by a ring of debris, was taken by Hubble. The white dot in the center of the image marks the star's location. It's a bright white star, but the region around it is black because astronomers use the advanced camera capabilities to block out the star's bright glare so that a dim planet called Formahalt B could be seen. The small white box at the lower right pinpoints the planet's location. These observations offer insights into our solar system's formative years, when the planets played a game of demolition derby. 